Being a good Samaritan led to a tragic death of Songwa. She and her entourage stopped to assist the motorist whose vehicle had overturned on the N1. Shortly afterwards, a flatback truck crashed into them. At least three people, including the deputy minister, lost their lives. Several others were injured. The accident took place on the N1 at Maubani Bridge near Corozal Plaza, north of Pretoria. South Africa has lost a diligent and dedicated servant of the people. Just as she lived, Deputy Minister Baveli Lethongwa died helping others. Her commitment to improving the lives of the poor and accelerating service delivery was unwavering. The carnage on our roads cannot continue unabated. This tragedy is a stark reminder of the agency with which we must reimagine road safety as a nation. The 38 year old was one of the young individuals that President Sir Ramaphosa appointed into his executive. She was a young dynamite, dynamic and uh, very uh, committed and dedicated to her work. A recent graduate of the African National Congress Youth League. So it's a big loss for the country, for the youth of South Africa. And uh, for us as her colleagues in cabinet, it is a very big loss. And it is more a big loss and it shows how selfless she was because she still died in the service of her people. When there was no need, she went out of her way. Political parties have reacted with shock to her passing. Comrades died on duty. A very passionate young person in terms of dedicating her time, dedicating selflessly herself to the struggle against uh, poverty, illiteracy, and then gender-based violence. In the last NWC, the NWC even nominated her to become a full member of the National Executive Committee. She's still with her life ahead of her. The country has lost somebody who could have contributed to the Department of Minerals and further growing this part this country. But I want to extend the condolences to the four other people who also lost their lives during that accident. The Deputy Minister will be honoured with an official funeral. The President has also directed that the national flag be flown at half mast throughout the country until Songa is laid to rest. Ntlantla Khatlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.